Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at some peacock gobies from Papua New Guinea. These guys reach about three inches in total length. I've got four of them, two males and two females. You can see these guys are only about an inch long so they got a bit of growing to do. And uh, they got to color up a bit more too. Obviously in shipping they're going to be stressed and not as colorful but here they are in my quarantine tank. Now they do prefer soft, slightly acidic water, lots of cover so they love planted tanks, dark substrate. Um, also floating plants as well. You can see I don't have any substrate because again this is my quarantine tank. Now these guys being gobies that means they're pretty good jumpers so you don't want them in an open top aquarium and definitely need a tank cover. They do pretty well in a wide variety of water parameters down to 72 up to 80 degrees pH 6.5 to 7.5. As far as diet they do love frozen foods and live foods but as you can see here they are feeding just fine on the Sarah O-Nip tabs. So they definitely don't have a problem with dry foods but anytime you can feed them some frozen food or live food I would definitely throw those in there for them. And also live and frozen foods will help if you want to spawn this fish which is surprisingly an easy fish to spawn. So they are cave spawners so like a one inch PVC pipe capped at one end would work great for these guys. Um, clay pots that have been drilled out with a small hole would work as well. Now as I said I did order four of them and I got lucky and got two males and two females. These do do well in a group so if you had enough room for them I would probably get four or six just to make sure you end up with a pair. And once you have a pair just live frozen foods weekly 20% water changes and they should start spawning behavior in no time. Then when you have a gravid female she will search out for a male in his cave and he will start dancing for her and they've also been known to be a little physical and the males will actually push them into the cave and once she has deposited her eggs the male will kick her out and then he will care for the eggs until they hatch. As soon as they hatch that's when the male completely stops caring at this point and it's best to remove the fry and put them in their own aquarium or remove the adults if they're in a species only tank. After two to four days they will become free swimming and accept micro worms right off the start so pretty easy food to feed the fry. The peacock goby is great for a community tank as you can see I have it here with some pygmaeus corydoras. Uh, there's also autosynclus in here and one pleco. They can get a little territorial with their own kind that's why I say if you have a big enough tank I would get a group of them uh, otherwise just a pair probably in like a 10 gallon tank would be all right. Now I did say they're from Papua New Guinea which means great for rainbow fish. A lot of rainbow fish come out of that area and you guys know I love rainbow fish but you could also do tetras, rasboris, and other smaller species. These will be going in my 125 gallon nano tank that is currently just being bombarded with algae still, but uh, that'll be for a different video. But again, very peaceful fish, not a problem. And even when they spar amongst themselves, it's usually just showing off. They don't actually hurt each other. So, I mean, really it's not that big a deal. So just a little FYI, these are not actually true gobies. They are missing pectoral fins. They're actually part of the Iliotridae family. Uh, known as gudgeons, so peacock gudgeons, but as far as common names in the hobby, they are known as peacock gobies, even though they are not really gobies. 